And happening today, the start of a five week long camp that's aimed at teaching low income children of color the life saving skill of swimming, helping to make sure that they can have fun and also be safe while keeping school as well this summer. Jasmine Pay, you joining us live from Chestnut Hill College with details on this great program. Good morning to you, Jasmine. Great to see this happening. Good morning, Natasha. <clears throat> this is great and it's exciting and it's also very important. We know that swimming is a life-saving lesson and this year about 100 of them will learn how to swim at ESF Dream Camp. Now joining me is one of the students that are a part of the program. She's been with the program for six years now. Jordan Poole, an 11th grader at Gerard College. Jordan, how are you? I'm um, good. Good, good. Jordan's not nervous at all. She got this down no. back. <laughs> awesome. Jordan, tell me what's starting today. Um, today is the start of Dream Camp ESF, and today is the year that we're starting the swimming program, and I'm excited. Tell me why it's important. Um, it's important because not a lot of, like, children in Philadelphia have good, safe, like, pools to swim in, and they also don't know how to swim, and this is a good way for them to learn how to swim and also just have fun in the hot weather during the summer. Yeah. How was the program last year? It was the first year. Do you remember how it was and how it went? Um... Last year, it went smoothly. We had um, we didn't have swimming last year, but we did have um, a martial arts program and like a chess program, and that was really fun. And um, like the martial arts program, it taught me a lot. And the person that directed it, she she's not like a famous person, but she's she's well known. And it was really fun, like seeing her like in her element. So that was your favorite. Yes, it was my favorite. Thank you so much, Jordan. Are you getting in the pool today? Um, I don't know. I just did my hair, so. <laughs> yeah, hair is important, yes. Thank you so much, Jordan. So as Jordan mentioned, there's a lot that this program offers in addition to swimming between the martial arts, fine arts, production programs as well. We know that this is offered to about 100 students, over 100 students, and it's all done through donations and with the help of volunteers. We know one of those volunteers is here today, but we'll have a link on our website of how you can help if you want to volunteer, cbsnewsphiladelphia.com. Natasha, the excitement is just getting started. The kids just got here not too long ago, so a fun day. Ahead. Hopefully the weather works with us, but we know that's. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, we hope so. It's going to be a good day anyway, as long as they're learning that critical skill of swimming, and of course the hair, as she said, is most important. <laughs> you got to protect that at all costs. I get it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jasmine. Appreciate that. Well, here.